Blood Curse, Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called Reckoning. So, spoilers for these first eight episodes, and let's dive right in. So, let's see. The, yeah, uh, again, video is used as evidence instead of someone having to take someone else's word for it, which, again, I quite appreciate and yeah so Atik is trying to find out what the background is even calls I think his name was get taught and yeah Rito beats Harun and yeah, Rito, because of his agitated state, even ends up hurting Atik, which, you know, considering he's he's been very gentle with her in all other scenes we've seen, and even you know she also says, "You're not, you know, you're not the father I used to know." And yeah, he he admits it's been blackmail all this time, and then he says. Bonden and Hamas, har, har, yeah, um, aren't crap. I'm I'm terrible with these names. Wulan's father, both deserved to die. And then Harun, Harun says an eye for an eye and bites Rito's ear off. Holy crap! And see. yeah, and and Harun gets to to Atik and and lies to her, which yeah, you know, at this point she hasn't yeah, she doesn't know that Harun is you know behind the the curse and let's. See. Yeah, and and yeah, you know, Rito does come in there and and stabs Rito, and then Rito puts the ear in the water in, in the fish tank, and and like Rito is like drowning. Very very cool. Good twist on. Again, really appreciate these, you know, different um, versions of the the curse. Mm, let's see, then, uh, the, yeah, then Mr. Harnas is awake and insists he has to go save them, but the nurse is like, you have to calm down, we have to take this slow, you aren't fully recovered yet. And Wulan's brother says, you know, this is my last stash and I want you to toss it. And then he, you know, because they're siblings, he has to tease her a little bit. So he pretends he still wants to hold on to it as he's giving it to her. And Wulan and Essa kiss again. And this time it does lead to them having sex and... A very effective, very creepy nightmare where Essa is suddenly missing and like she's grabbed by a hand from above her. And then she has, you know, instead of waking up in the bed, she wakes up in, you know, this is the place that we saw back when Harnas and, um, these names, um, Ulan's ex were, you know, they they tried to to travel there, but she fought back and and killed uh, killed Wulan's ex and left Mr. Harna in this you know yeah in hospital. And it even culminates in you know the yeah the this mysterious according to the the the. IMDb credits, mysterious woman, you know, rushes at her very effective scare, and then she does wake up back in her own bed, and Essa is still there. But now, um, 
Vishnu, Wulan's brother, is attacked. And we again get that really cool effect of, of there's something crawling under underneath the skin. And I, I, I promised myself I wasn't going to imitate Linkin Park. And yeah, we close on the mysterious woman speaking to a skull, saying, Patience, my love, it is almost over. Soon they will all be dead. So the we still don't know her story. We do at this point know a lot of why um, Haroon was doing what he was doing. Though I'm still not entirely sure. Like, I get... I get that it, um, yeah, as far as I understand, Mr. Bonden hired Rito, among others, also Gatot, to, to attack, and they weren't supposed to kill, and, and, yeah, the person they attacked, or at least one of the people they attacked, was the, the father of Haroon. I'm not entirely sure where Wulan's father enters into it because Rito was blackmailing both not only Mr. Bond and so I'm I'm not entirely sure and I I feel like it would be too obvious if the mysterious woman is just like the mother of Haroon and that's you know and is doing it because of her dead husband, maybe there's something else that we just haven't been been shown. But but yeah, there's only two episodes left. Um, I really hope that we will get clear answers to the mystery by the end of episode 10. Uh, according to IMDb, there, it doesn't really look like there's going to be more than the one season. Um, and certainly I could see it. I could see how they could resolve the the mystery by the end of episode 10 and have a resolution to, you know, have the mysterious woman be defeated. Especially now that it's clear that Harna is still alive. You know, it was... Yeah. Um, I think... That is all that I have for this one. Right, I mean, I, the fact that Gatot suddenly just, like, I guess he just, he, yeah, he basically hangs up on Atik fairly suddenly, and then the there's no answer when she tries calling again. So he, I'm, I'm guessing he also is dead and he did I, I think that might be the one who you know Rito called him and said I think you know some something is happening and Gatot already knew so I think that is all that I have to say um I appreciate that we're this far into it while with, you know, we still don't know the exact identity and, you know, all the details of the motive of the mysterious woman, of the, the villain, of the, the you know, it, it is, uh, you know, yeah, it is a horror story and a lot of horror stories, it works really well if, you don't don't have all the answers, you know, for for a long time. Like by the end of this episode, it certainly seems like it's for a specific person, but who that person is is not clear. But yeah, um, I expect to do the next episode in eight days. So yeah, hope to catch you then.